Okay, here I'm at the end. And I'm going to do two stitches in my last stitch because I don't want it to fray or fall apart there. I want to bring it to the back. And in the inside is where I'm going to make my other uh, knot. So there. Do the knot there. I will cut it off. And now that portion where your belt loops through is secured on there. The next step we want to do is to sew in all our tails. So we're going to have quite a few of them. I have quite a few. I have like six tails. No, yeah, one, two, three, oh, four tails. I'm going to sew all these in so they're all hidden before I start putting it together. If you don't want to sew these, you can put, stick them in like that, but I don't like to have a bunch of string inside. It'll be a lot neater if you just sew in your tails. Okay, now I've sewn in all my tails, so they're nice and clean. This tails, this is the wrong side where the tail is at, so that's going to be showing through the inside of our work. Remember, here's our flap where the belt goes through, so that's going to lay to the bottom. Then our pockets are going to fit. I'm doing two. I'm doing two of them because um, I'm going to sew them together so that. When you open it, there'll be two flaps in there. But if you want, that's totally optional. If you want, you could just do like the gray one, which only has one flap. I mean, one um, part in the middle there. It's totally up to you. I'm going to put these together. And since I'm doing two, of, when I do two pockets, I like to sew these, kind of just kind of tack them in certain places to make sure it's not hard. Um, and the way you could do that, you could either use um, safety pins, like those big dressmaker ones, but those kind of hurt sometimes. <laughs> I'm, at least I've been kind of um, hurt by them before. So what I like to do here is just kind of, um, sometimes I use a stitch marker. Hopefully it'll go through all three. Just because um, these don't really hurt, you know. Um, I hope it's big enough. See, just kind of, I just want to, hold them in place it doesn't have to be perf I just want to make sure that I'm going to be following this line because I want it to be um, I don't want it to be lopsided so I'm going to adjust my stitching to make sure that it fits in that in that area so here's my line here I'm going to follow that same ridge here so that I know that my other end has to attach here because you don't want it to be, you know, going nuts on you. So, the big safety pins work really well as well, uh, uh, also. So, when I start sewing this, um, I like to start in this corner and go around. I see, I can sew, I can sew better, depending if you're left-handed or right-handed, I could sew better going <laughs> towards my left versus going this way because I'm not um, because I'm left-handed so I like to hide my yarn in the inside flap so I'm gonna bring it out through there okay and then I'm gonna leave kind of a little tail there and you just sew it together which um, ever stitch you prefer I'm just gonna go kind of like a loop like a little um, tail stitch I find it um, easy for easier for me to do. If you like to just go up and do a running stitch, that's completely up to you. But I'm going to go through all of them just to start. And it's um, you just kind of have to tug it. So don't be afraid to pull on it. And then I'm going to come back in 
there. When my yarn comes in through the middle there, I like to tie. You have to do that. Have, I always like the idea because I you don't want your work to fall apart after you work so hard. And then this tail, I'm just going to hide in my seam here. Okay, so once I get my work going here, you want to go make sure that you're going, when you come around here, going in the front, and then when you go back up, you want to make sure you're hitting all three layers. See how it's going? through my back layer here, my needle, then it's going through the middle layer, and now it's going to the front. So it's going through all three of them. Because when I sew it, now it's caught all three layers. Then I'm gonna bring it over again. I guess it's called like a, a slip stitch or loop stitch embroidery. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back again, and I'm gonna go through my back layer, through the middle layer and through the front layer. I'm getting all of my layers and closing them all up. So you're going to do that all the way around until you get to this edge here. Okay, I have finished sewing all the edges around my bow pouch. I finished sewing the back loop there. So now this folds over and you can see that this one, then when you open it, you're going to have two pot, two areas there because you made these two. So this is going to have a pouch um, compartment there and one here. Don't make it more than two because then it gets too bulky and it doesn't it doesn't sit right. So there's the fur there's the one we just finished. This is the gray one. See, it's the same size except that this is a different texture yarn. And then this one I just did it just with the flap in front and the back. So there's only one compartment. And this is what you and this is how you would do it for two. I said you make two of these. Stick it in there. And now I can put my button or whatever it is you want to use. I like this one. It's kind of like one of those men's. I got it from one of those men's sweaters. Um, and so then you just uh, could sew it on there. If you want, you could leave it that way. I think the button looks kind of cuter. And then this one, you can also turn it into, right now for the holidays, um, Rudolph, a little reindeer face. I guess maybe the buttons are a little small, but you get the idea and you can make little faces. And this button, once you sew I it just... on your button, your little belt pouch is actually ready to go on your belt. And you would be all set. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and help me reach uh, more people and please share it with your friends remember you can make this in any color or texture if you wanted to make it bigger then you would just use a bigger hook if you want it smaller then use a smaller hook I use a size G for both of these pouches and um, the stitch is a half double crochet with the double crochet in the back so thank you and I hope you have a great day bye bye